Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So it's raining outside. What I really want to do is go film a drift video in the rain, but you know, I can't do that. <laughs> so a couple more months, February 1st is when I'm supposed to be off social media probation. But until then, you know, we're going to Keep it chill, you know, <laughs> keep it calm, keep it collect. But anyway, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how to set up your Scat Pack 392 or Hellcat to be able to drift. This will include all the Hellcat guys, Charger, Challenger platform, it doesn't really matter. And then the 392 Scat Pack guys as well, cause they have a lot of the same parts as the Hellcat, just obviously not as much power. The RT guys doesn't really pertain to you. There might be some things that you can add to your car as well that are on this list that I'm gonna give you guys. This one will be mainly for the Hellcats and the Scat Pack 392 guys. I'm gonna tell you guys my perfect drift setup. Now don't get me wrong, you can definitely drift it stock you can go to the dealership, pick one up, and you'd be able to drift it you know no problem everything on that car is pretty bulletproof for a certain amount of time I started off with a completely stock charger as you guys know anything done to it stock motor stock suspension everything was stock and it still slid perfectly still drifted perfectly fine but as I got a little bit better at driving wanted to you know more smoke more angle have it handle a little bit better there's a bunch of things that I needed to do to get it to where I want it you know so first we'll start off at suspension the active ride suspension that the the Hellcats and the 392s come with you can obviously damper it up or damper it down. I think it's street, sport, track. It, it really honestly does make a difference. It'll stiffen up the car. It'll have less body roll. It's super comfortable in street. Like if you're just cruising, you know, daily driving it or whatever, street is an awesome thing to have because it almost rides like a Cadillac. You know, it's super flush. Like when you're going over bumps and stuff, it doesn't have a bunch of you know, hop and shit like that. But when you throw it in the track, then you get that stiffness and you know, it, it almost feels like you're riding on coilovers. Getting to coilovers, I switched my uh, suspension over to the BC Racing coilovers instead of the active suspension. One reason was because I blew out my active ride suspension and it's it's pretty expensive, not gonna lie. I think it's like 900, 1200 bucks. In my opinion, it was a lot better at the time to go get the BC Racing coilovers. I think they were only like 1500. One major thing that changed the car dramatically was obviously putting on coilovers. With the BC Racing coilovers, I think it's like 18 different settings. On the top of the coilovers, let me show you guys. All right, so if you go over to the coilover, pop a little cover off. You can see it says, you know, soft or hard. And obviously, the more to the left you turn it, the softer it is. The more to the right you turn it, the harder it is. So the stiffer the coilover, obviously you're gonna have less body roll and it's gonna be super, super bumpy. Cool thing about these, I think it has like 18 different settings or something like that. So you could go super, super soft and do like, you know, more drag racing shit. So you can get the squat in the car, it'll lift up, do all that type of stuff. Go straight to drift mode and click it almost all the way. Cause if you click it all the way on the 18th setting, it's super, super, stiff bouncy not going anywhere and daily driving it that is not really what you want because you hit the smallest rock in the road and you're gonna feel it but compared to the stock suspension that was in here it's a night and day difference i would recommend getting coilovers if you plan on tracking your car and doing you know races and stuff like that versus the active ride if you're only daily driving it swinging it occasionally i would stick with the active ride now let's get to the other suspension parts now i know this isn't the best angle but this this is what I can give you guys with what I'm working with. Um, upper control arms. Those are AAD upper control arms. They provided different shims to go on the upper control arms to give you different amounts of camber, caster. Big shout out to AAD. They <laughs> supplied me with a bunch, as you can see, a bunch of different options. So these arms are more set up for uh, drag racing and stuff like that. That's why they're not on the car. It might have been a good idea to throw them on when we were doing some drag racing stuff, but like I was saying, AAD gave us a bunch of options for different camber and caster. 
settings. What I have on the car right now are some of the more camber plates, not so much caster. Caster's almost almost stock but as you can see it has a little bit of camber to it rather more aggressive than stock it's two and negative two and a half degrees camber and obviously the adjustable upper control arms make that happen along with the shims and stuff one main reason why you want that is because when your wheels are turned all the way the amount of camber can give you a lot more traction in the front and when you're drifting you want as much traction in the front as possible that's why you see the drift Drift cars like the formula drift cars their camber will be super super kicked out and that's because when you're at full lock it'll even out the wear when you're drifting to the back there's a whole list of arms that you can get what i recommend going with is the b woody kit it'll eliminate almost all of the uh, stock arms and give you the polyurethane bushings which is a plus for ride comfortability and noise and it'll give you a lot more options to adjust them in the rear i recommend running complete zero so the rear of the tire is flat flat and that's obviously so you can evenly burn the tire all throughout so far we got the suspension bc racing coilovers aad upper control arms b woody suspension arms so that'll give you a bunch of stiffness it'll make the car ride like a completely different car some things you could do obviously do upgraded sway bars and stuff like that there's been mixed uh <laughs> mixed thoughts on those all sway bars are kind of the same unless you got a really thin skinny sway bar you could upgrade to a thicker sway bar obviously and it would have less flex these hellcats come with pretty fat sway bars i did the sway bar end links from b woody it's not really needed to upgrade the sway bars on these i did add a differential brace made the the rear a lot more planted it kind of takes away some of the wheel hop durs diff brace i'm not positive how much that was i think it was like five six hundred bucks but it made a difference if you're looking to stiffen up the car in all aspects definitely try to get a, a diff brace um i did the one piece aluminum drive shaft which i'm pretty sure it's broken because <laughs> when i'm on the freeway and you start to get on the gas at low rpms there will have a crazy crazy vibration there's a bunch of people that throw drive drive shaft braces in there as well just in case it does go so yeah we did suspension kind of some safety measures some more safety measures that you could do which i definitely recommend it made a huge huge difference for one upgrading your brake fluid but with a higher temp brake fluid so when you're smashing on the brakes obviously these things are heavy so you're going to be on the brakes a lot because when you're racing and going really really fast and you slam on the brakes sometimes you'll lose pedal feel it'll boil the brake fluid get it super super hot and these things come with rubber brake lines so obviously rubber is going to get hot as well it's going to expand and contract one thing that i did to combat that was do the steel braided brake lines it <clears throat> saves the pedal feel so if you go into a corner and you're smashing on the brakes you'll have less pedal loss that goes for the hellcats and the 392 scat pack guys I'm sure a lot of these upgrades can be done for the rts but i'm not sure if the companies that i've named make things for the rts i know they make them for the uh the hellcats and the the scat pack 392s charger or challenger let's move on to power and right now i'm talking to the hellcat guys hellcat guys there's definitely plenty plenty power these things make 707 to the crank stock to the wheel you make like 630 something like that that's definitely enough power to go have fun drift do donuts whatever you know whatever you want to do you know sometimes you want more smoke sometimes you want to go faster you know shit like that i drifted my stock hellcat on the stock power maybe four years yeah it took me a long time to want more power well not want more power but to add more power the stock 707 horsepower is plenty i have 850 to the wheel now it makes like nine something to the crank it's super fun not gonna lie going from the stock power drifting in second third gear now i'm third fourth gear maybe fifth it smokes the tires obviously more wheel speed but you know that comes with repercussions you're gonna go through tires faster you're gonna go through gas faster you want to change your oil more frequently there's a bunch of stuff that comes with adding more power but if you're thinking about it i would say do it but it's not needed you know now for the scat pack 392 guys what do you guys make like 500 something for something to the wheel i've driven a couple scat packs second is mainly the gear you want to be in 
but third and fourth gear that's that's not happening in a scat pack maybe if you're you know just roasting the tires and like trying to upshift gears but if you're in a drift it's going to catch traction you're not going to be able to slide in third and fourth gear so i would maybe recommend a little bit of power throw a supercharger on there throw a, uh, some turbos on there i don't know but if you have a scat pack or a 392 and you just want more power go get a hillcat man <laughs> Nah, the 392 scat packs are still really, really fun. But if, you know, if you want more, more and more power, like you think the scat pack or 392 is slow, which it's not, go get a Hellcat, you know, up the power. But yeah, some of the main things that you should do to get set up for drifting, like I said, suspension, there's a couple different safety things you could do, like the braces and uh, brake lines and higher temp brake fluid, stuff like that. Um, one major thing that I would recommend doing is flushing your differential, putting new fluid in there and Mopar sells a diff locker additive that you can put into your diff fluid, which will give you more of a, a, a two wheel spin, more of posi. It's not true posi because there's a LSD in there, but the locker will make both wheels spin at the same time. I see a lot of people one legging in these, these charter challengers. So that's one major thing that I always do when I flush the diff is I throw in that additive and it, it helps a lot. It helps a ton, I'm not gonna lie. First gear is not really usable, obviously with this power setup, but in general, like the, the stock Hellcats, first gear is not, <laughs> not usable. Second gear is definitely the, uh, the gear you wanna be in if you're sliding or whatever. Add the additive, will save <laughs> one side of your tire, you'll be able to kill both tires. That's just a couple things that I would recommend doing. You know, suspension, safety stuff, the braces, different fluids, additives, shit like that. Another thing that I highly recommend getting is an oil catch can, which is this. Um, especially on a boosted motor, there's a lot of oil blow by coming from the valve covers going into the intake. So highly recommend getting a oil catch can. This one is a, a JLT, but that will save a bunch of oil going into your intake and possibly potentially down the road destroying your motor. Empty it every couple thousand miles more often than you change the oil. Major key, if you don't have the right alignment or your alignment's super off, it's gonna throw your whole car off. It's not gonna feel right. It's not gonna correct the right way. It's not gonna be able to slide how you want it. So a key key thing is the right alignment. You're looking for an alignment shop, make sure you go up to City Alignment Concord out here in Concord, California. Those are just some of the, the few things that I highly recommend doing to your Charger Challenger platform to set it up for drifting, you know? I'm, I'm not the best drifter in the world, but I might be the best drifter in this platform. So I know what I'm talking about. I've gone through every part on this vehicle, pretty much nothing besides like the skeleton of this car is stock. Everything's been replaced and it's all been upgraded. It's none of this stuff is downgraded or I regret, you know, changing it from stock. You know, take my word, don't take my word, whatever, but that's just some some a little advice that I have for you guys today. All right now I'm about to go scoop up Rob and we're going to Juan's house because as you guys know he's on ankle he can't leave. Come on, let's go. So you think I grew in one? Anything ever when it gets my cool destroyed, boy. Christmas, dude. Right on. <laughs> it's a multi-tool. It's multi-tool squatch. <laughs> Hello, gaming folks. Hopping on this Mortal Kombat. Stay tuned. Over there with the beef stick. <laughs> Wands over there on GTA. Hello, gaming channel. Channel coming soon. Hey, time out. 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 Terminator vs. Rambo Ooh, is going I down. I beat Kezzy, lost to Rob. Now Juan and Rob are playing. When are you posted on the uh, BTS channel? What day is it today? You just forgot about your kids. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> no, it's today's Tuesday. <coughs> Tomorrow's Wednesday. Probably Friday. Friday? Yeah. All right, stay tuned, everybody. A little BTS video coming soon.
Damn. <laughs> Shit.